Hello and welcome back for more Spirit Fair. I want to leave. I'm cold. I'm tired. You left me here all night. Did you really forget about me? Still, the sea air is so nice. Once my daughter Annie and I had a little outing to the seaside. It was such a nice day. Oh, and... Oh, there was a picture of that day in an envelope you found the other day. I've got it right here. Look at her outfit. Always so fashionable. Later in the day, she lost her hat to a gust of wind, though. What a shame. Are you ready to walk me back home? Of course. Annie's beach outfit. I'm gonna... So I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna look like your daughter? Granddaughter? One of them. I'm gonna look like Annie. Hey, you... You play songs for my plants. I ain't doing it. Oh yeah, last time uh, we discovered uh, Gustav, that owl man up there, and we discovered that the hedgehog lady is in fact an old lady. You hungry, I'm assuming? Would you happen to have anything to eat? I'm somewhat hungry. <laughs> Evidently not that hungry. Well, thank you. I'd like to leave. Now that our preparatory work is fully complete, I think it's time to start working on some proper infrastructure. Ideally, a project of this breadth would require a dedicated space to protect the more fragile pieces from the elements, but it also requires an office desk from which a curator can work comfortably, as well as a waiting area, a front desk, some storage, maybe even a gift shop, though we might manage without one. What? A bit much. On the contrary, Stella, I assure you that all of these things are perfectly necessary. Luckily, as a rational man, I realize space might be an issue. That's why I've thought of a multi-purpose area that would do wonderfully. Let's get to it. Grab a pencil and listen carefully. The gallery is a paradoxical space for both houses, works of art, and is one. Architecture is, after all, an expression of humanity's master mastery over nature. As such, And that is one of the many ways Bauhaus, the, the Bauhaus of Chicago, is integrated Etruscan architecture in its ideas. Alright, have you got that all written down? I don't mind going over the finer points of the lecture again. Do you need me to repeat? Yes. Let's get to it. Grab a pencil and listen carefully. A gallery is a paradoxical space for both houses, works of art, and is one. Architecture is, after all, the first expression of humanity's mastery over nature. As such... I'm going to keep telling him to repeat it. Oh. All right. Have you got it all written down? I don't mind going over the finer points. With yes, repeat it. Grab a pencil, listen carefully. <laughs> How many? Let's get to it. Grab a pencil, listen carefully. The gallery is a predictor. Architecture is after all. All right. I want to, I'm going to do it like five times. See if he like yells at me. If you got it all written down, I don't mind going over it again. Grab a pencil, listen carefully. A paradoxical glass face. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes, I needed to repeat it. Of course. Uh huh. Am I bullying the autistic kid? Is this the autistic kid? Okay, no, no, we're done. If you insist, I'll let you get to it then. Gustav's gallery. Ah, build. Almost died from a hiccup there. Marble, cotton thread. A letter for a letter from Albert. It's why. Dear value customer. For a special time, we are running a special promotion. Enclosed in a special blueprint for our Funtacular series, a zip lamp post. Zip through the air like a majestic bird. You're a local shipwright. I wanted to see if uh, he had any special dialogue. Spoiler alert, he didn't. No special dialogue for Catsby. It's a big ol' womp womp. Womp womp moment. Someone's shivering, I can hear it. Fried chicken, bottom line core, Gustav's gallery, bring summer to the Ebador. Uh, not happening, actually. <clears throat> I'm gonna make her stay here forever. Let's actually go here. 
see if anything's going on in that direction. Hello, old lady. My legs! My little legs won't carry me anymore. Could you perhaps get me to the ground? Of course I can. Oh. Quit saying oh when I'm walking the old lady. I'm being nice. Just trying to walk an old lady. It's my hedgehog. My friendly hedgehog lady. I'm gonna move the orchard down so she can get to it. No, I'm not polite to the NPCs. I, I actually uh, don't like you for saying that. Little one, I'm hungry. Yes, I'll feed you something other than fruit. Oh, thank you, I was getting quite hungry, that's good. Cause uh, I fed you, and if you told me, hey, I wasn't hungry, you twat, I would have fought you. Oh, I just lean against it and it's like, bink. Interesting. the first time I fed the hedgehog lady something other than fruit. Poor hedgehog grandma. Hedge grandma hog. Hedgemog. Bing, 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 bong. Islands has marble on it. Shrine. We need marble. Marble. Eh. Marble? Lighthouse. Oh, it might be in here. Oh, it is in here. And I can go here now. We are, in fact, going to hit this area, go back over here, go here, and then hit this area. Can't wait to cut out everything I just did. What are you hungry? Here. Stella, can you hear my stomach is restless? Do you have something for me? Uh, yeah, uh, I have this apple. Stupid vegan. A word? You hungry? Stella, what do I have to do to get fed? Send you a letter? As a matter of fact, I would like you to send me a letter. Here, have a pork chop. I don't know where they keep getting the sandwich. I find it unacceptable. I'm going to the pier. Who's pier? Don't know. Don't forget. No, dude, I remember. You want freaking ding dong. Here. I like that bird. I'm seeing visions of past meals I've had. That can't be a good sign. Thank you, Skipper. This meal is nourishing. Tea. Cuppa. Hmm, that pier is very tilted. Get 
get me in this water. I got up here to visit. Bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da bum ba da bum. Locked. Ooh, you've got that face. Larry Salzberg knows faces, and yours could be on a poster, on a billboard. You're not talking, but I can imagine your voice, and I hate it. But we can fix that in a post. We've got one of the girls to dub everything. You'll be perfect. What? You're not an actress? You don't do vaudeville? You never been with Ziegfeld? Nothing for those French sheep dressers or whatever they're called? That's impossible. You would have been perfect, but if it's true, you're pure undiscovered talent. I must have you in my next picture. I must. I don't have a script, nor a director, but that doesn't matter. It could be called something, something like Visions of Perfection, a thriller, murder, suspense, something to get the blood boiling, and something to make the town talk. Talking about my young new star, it will be a box office smash. Can't you see it? Yes, I knew I could count on just walking the streets. You'll be a star in no time, or my name isn't Larry Salzberg. Now we need to find you a co-star. My casting director is on her honeymoon with her new beau. Somewhere warm, it doesn't matter. What does matter is this picture I thought about in the last five minutes. I don't need to cast this picture with stars. Star power. The town is drier than my shirts on a clothesline in the summer. Let's see. Joanne is filming her daughter-mother picture. Vivian is out of the question. Judy is off somewhere magical. And we'll need to find some gumption. Gravitas. There's a veteran, Catherine, who would work. Apparently, she's been taking in nature recently. Somewhere in the obscure canopy, I believe. Wait one second. I have another idea. We could also get the demure, naive route. Someone like angry. She could also do justice to our new movie. She bought... A new place in Old Central something. Go meet her there. Ah, so many possibilities. Creating movies, what a rush. Ah, right. I'll leave it in your capable hands. Find us a match. Someone that you think will pop on the screen. Oh, my jaw hurts from talking. Damn. Some lunatic wakes me up every day. He jumps in the water screaming. He always says, oh, what is it? I'm like... Like, I'm the big fish man, <laughs> or something like that. He's so loud. And it's not just the screaming, it's the thrashing in the water. Poor fellow doesn't know how to swim. <laughs> I should close my bedroom window. Maybe not. I came here for the ocean breeze. It came with an early bird swimmer. Okay. Antique bust. Man, all these doors are locked. How am I supposed to break into your houses? I'd really like to. Why are all your houses tilted? Untilt thy houses. idea how to get up here. Oof. The stupid cat. Daffodil, you funny little monkey. What's that? I want to hit it. Of course it's locked. They're all locked.
It's me, I'm the early bird swimmer. Alright, well. Color me confused for the rest of my days. There was no point to coming to this island. Shping. Oh, literally no point. It gave me no new information. Wow. Good bus stop. Take my whatever out of the oven. It's scallops. Scramp. Let's get it started and hi. Let's get it started and yeah. Let's get it started and hi. Let's get it. We're going to the Caldstein Mines. I'm forgetting. Oh, who are you? What am I? Oh, I'm sorry. I was distracted. I'm alright. I'm fine. Yes, yes. I'm sure. Carry on with your day. I know how to shake her out of her confusion. I'm gonna put on her dead daughter's outfit. I like this outfit better. Hey, remember your dead daughter? Oh, oh Annie, you've... Oh, I'm sorry, mistook you for my daughter. You dressed exactly like her. Of course, the wind blew her hat away. If I were to find her... When I find her, you should tell her where you found yours. I'm sure she'd like to find another one again. I'm sure it would be better than that unmatched red hat of hers. Alright, I'm gonna go change my hat to be bright red. There you are. I was scared. I thought you had left. I'm feeling tired. We're on our way home, aren't we? Tell me when we're there. Bring Alice to the Everdoor and talk to her. And talk to her while wearing Annie's outfit with a red hat. Okay, it's time for you to go. I'm actually sad about that one. I'm actually sad about Alice. I will take her to the Everdoor. After I get some marble. For Gustav. Oh. I should walk you back to your house, Annie. Not Annie. Hedgehog. Here, Stella. I baked something for the crew. I'll let you distribute it. Distribute it. Not distribute it. Distribute it. I liked the hedgehog, Grandma. just about bedtime. I want to walk you back to your bed. Careful now.
That was very nice, thank you. Am I supposed to walk you back? No. Okay. lady before I go onto this island. Talk. Can't say anything to you. Alright. Don't call me honeybee. You're ready and well equipped for the job. You did well, recruit. I'm happy to welcome you to all this team. Here you go. Have fun in there, baby. That sounds odd. You're going to an end man of mine after all. Be careful and always respect the job. I'll try. I'm going in here to not respect the job. Oh, that was fast. jump again. Metal rope and some hematite. Man, dank in here. Interesting. this game. <laughs> Right. Just in time for an epic minor blasting session. Thanks, I shouldn't say that one. <laughs> Whatcha? Whatcha? I forgot to put do not disturb on. Whoa. We. Whoa. Whoa. Skibbity. Bah! Bing. 
Bang. Boom. Alright, cool. I'm leaving. Again, welcome abroad. Abroad, aboard. Welcome abroad. Like the video if you like the video, dislike the video if you dislike the video, consider subscribing if you're new, and as always, stay kind, and spread love, and drink water. Otherwise, I'm gonna throw Daffodil into this icy, frozen ocean, and she will never be seen again. And I like this cat. So drink water and subscribe, or else, Daffodil, Ocean, you get the gist. Murderous intent.